curiosity drives discovery. A wonderful happy morning to all. I am Stephen here to say about STEM lab. The full form of STEM is science, technology, engineering and mathematics. The use of studying STEM is it helps to improve our imagination and turning ideas into innovation. Let's move on to our school STEM lab. We have made many projects like earthquake alarm, smart dustbin and automatic irrigation system. The Sasa University has provided us Avishkar kit and IOD kit. STEM is the future of this world. Here at our school, Sri Vengana it will create more young scientists and improve the science. This is a model of smart dustbin. So the first thing why did I know you know? So I want to have an ultrasonic sensor. So what it does is that ultrasonic sensor sends signals. The signal when it comes in contact with the object or a person, it bounces the signal back. This ultrasonic sensor changes that signal and sends the signal to the Arduino. So then Arduino sends again signal to the servo motor to turn the servo motor to a stray. This servo motor is connected with the thread to it and to the dustbin. So when this servo motor turns right, it opens the cover of the dustbin. After a few times, it goes back to its uh, own room deck. So that's when the dustbin is closed. This is an automatic irrigation system. It consists of a soil a sensor, a mobile driver and an aquarium monitor. So how it basically works is that when the soil machine is drying in the soil, it sends a signal to the motor driver. The motor driver then sends a signal to the aquarium motor to pour the water into the soil. This can be in use with and farmers can be irrigating the grass automatically. As you can see, our world is filled with many natural disasters. One of them is Earthquake, which is the most important disaster. It can cause even a high building to collapse easily. This is a small prototype on Earthquake Alarm System. It uses a battery, switch, nut, and a buzzer. When the surface shakes, you can see the signal goes to the buzzer and it gives a sound and the LED starts to blink. This prototype helps us to save ourselves from earthquake and move to a better position. From the potential energy, as the water is still, electricity will be generated. Light energy. From sun, we are getting light energy. To electricity, we can generate light energy. Here, the bulb grows because of the electricity. Hydroelectric is generated from waterfall, which can use to generate electricity. And this is my model of hydroelectric energy generator. Here, look at my project. We are motor runs by solar energy, which is collected from solar panels. Electrical energy is nothing but the flow of electron, which is used to make the bulb glow. Here, the bulb is glowing because of electrical energy. We, the students of Desire's domain, create a lot of models. Let's see how it contributes to the society. Smart does you. When we use a normal dustbin, our hands come in contact with the dustbin and we get a lot of disease due to that. This can be prevented with smart dustbin. Automatic irrigation system. This setup can irrigate the plants automatically, which maintains our plant into a healthy one. Earthquake alarm. This can create awareness among people and safeguard people. And here are our models about energy generation. This is about potential energy, this is about light energy, and this is about magnetic energy, and solar energy, and it shows how we use electrical energy in our daily life. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Be the students of Sri Venkateswara Guru Yadaya, sign off. Thank you.